are constructed of fog aluminum alloy because of the weight advantages it, it gives in comparison to steel other materials would maybe give some extra advantages but to limit cost the f1 fia has forbidden all non ferro materials crank shaft and piston rods are iron based for strength at its maximum pace the current v8 engines consume around 80 liters of petrol from 800 kilometers of racing it's not exactly known how much oil such a top engine contains but this oil is for 70% in the engine while the other 30% is in the dry sump lubrication system that changes oil within the engine 3 to 4 times a minute cooling with such a low thermal efficiency cooling of any internal combustion engine is vital for its correct operation basically an f1 cooling system is the same as in any regular road car as engine coolant and oil is pumped through a radiator to cool down before completing another cycle through the engine however due to the space restrictions and the requirements of a race car the positioning of each components is completely different the following shows the internal of the championship winning renault r25 of 2005 included with its renault rs25 engine shows number 2 the flat panes located nearly in the front of the side ports are the radiators number 4 in this picture the radiator is covered with a protective hose it is not during running as air passes through the aluminum of the radiator the position however varies considerably in different cars as they are influenced by the and weight distributed requirements of a car contrary to popular benefit the air interior about the driver's head is the part of the cooling system but instead provided the engine cylinders with air to be mixed with fuel for combustion it is commonly thought that the purpose of this is to ramp, ramp air into engine like a supercharger but the air box does the opposite the carbon fiber duct number 1 gradually winds out as it approaches the engine effectively creating a venturi and the suction effects of the small air inlet the shape of this duct and the inlet however must be carefully designed to both fill all cylinders equally and not harm the exterior of the engine cover all to optimize the volumetric efficiency mark with number 3 is the engine exhaust system while number 5 and number 6 identify the rear suspension that it fitted onto the gearbox there are major experiments handled from early 50s to develop f1 engines with those developments number of side effects occurred and those side effects became a by products of this development and this video present you about those by products